This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I forgot about this, but a long time ago, that I, I think Jadakus brought this up. Nas wrote, getting jiggy with it, and welcome to Miami off of Big Willie style. And I was like, I forgot about that. And uh, Jadakus, or one of them made a good uh, comparison. They, right around that same time, they came out with Nasty Nasta Escobar to Estradamus. And it kind of has that same feel. So it's like, that's crazy that Nas wrote those songs for any, any, that shows you that Nas can write for anybody because he can like, he could really dub it down for a Will Smith and just do like a, you know, feel good record and Jade has even said that he took all the back end on that record and just got paid crazy. He didn't get paid up up front money, all back end. That's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, then we got Gucci Man and Jeezy. So Jeezy wore a Black Mafia. That was a little funny because like I know he's of course he's tied in with BMF in the beginning, but didn't they like they distance themselves from Jeezy a lot? Okay, uh, after everything. And he still reps it really hard. I, I don't know how that works out, but that's none of our business, I guess. But uh, so during this battle, Gucci Man talked about smoking on that Pookie Loke. And he talked about putting Pookie Loke in a box. That's the guy, one of Jeezy's guys that took it upon himself to go after Gucci Man. And it was, you know, I can understand this situation because these guys came to take Gucci Man out and Gucci Man took him out. I'll be smoking on that Gucci. Got them Gucci packs. I'm a piece of pokey love, nigga. It ain't even about Jeezy, nigga. You mentioned the wrong name, bitch. Pookie love for love. Mac Town Gangster, nigga. LA to GA. Coochie, man. Recipe Pookie love, nigga. I don't know what's up with him and Jeezy. That's they business. But rest in peace to Pookie love. I'm gonna set a real gangster. So I know it's a sensitive subject for people who lost him, but he was going to take Gucci Man out. So he protect Gucci Man protected himself. I mean, just imagine how you would feel after that. I mean, I still don't believe that Jeezy and Gucci Man are like super cool. I just believe they're cordial, you know, like this kind of put the feuding to an end. I don't think they're going to be best buddies tomorrow, but one of Pookie Loke's friends comes out and has this to say. So yeah, I mean, I can understand him feeling like that if he was friends with Pookie Loke. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, man. Uh, lastly, Jeezy will not talk about Freddie Gibbs anymore. He's done with it after he did the therapy song. He will not even speak about him in interviews. It's a wrap. He shut him down, shut it down in many interviews. Uh, Jeezy addressed the feud and refrained from mentioning names. Getting to specifics, G and Ebro asks why Jeezy even pays mind to his words. He says, nah, bro, I got too many things to do. And if I go see my therapist, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to care to hear what he says after my session. And basically the world was my therapist. I went and he, I said what I said. I wrote down what I, he's been talking to Charlemagne a lot. <laughs> That's all I could say from that. Uh, he said, I'm good. I'm not worried about nothing. And for me, that's my opinion. That's what I got in my heart. Ain't nobody gonna tell me different. I felt like I, I felt like I said enough in the song to not have to talk about it anymore. That's it. So he will not talk about it anymore. Then uh, Young Thug elaborates on giving little baby money to pursue rapping. I think that's pretty real. Like he almost paid little baby to like take his career seriously. Young Thug's got heart, man. I've, I've seen Young Thug do a lot of things for people. I've seen him take care of people before. Uh, I've seen him, you know, pe people that he's friends with in the beginning of his career that were struggling, and he gave him a place to stay. I've seen him do a lot of good things, man. So he's not the... He's really a good person deep down inside, man. You know? I think he, he has to have a certain persona, but, like... Young Thug does have a good side, a very good side, you know, so 
I always respected that. When I saw him do those things for certain people, I said, dude, this guy's deep down, he's a good, good person, man. You know, like he stays to his core values. You know, uh, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys. There's not a lot of things going on today, and I'm kind of taking it easy a little bit today, but I appreciate you guys. Um, I'll have another thing premiering very shortly. Peace.